Let's get some trader talk now and check in with Nick Santiago of In The Money Stocks. Nick, plenty of traders are watching the recent moves in gold. Are you in the gold buying camp? Well, right now we have a lot of money printing going on. We have uh, a lot of borrowing going on by the U.S. government. And that's a really, really solid backdrop for the gold and gold mining stock. So uh, I think uh, gold now has put in a really definitive bottom and the gold miners are actually leading the charge. So my trade is going to be Agnico Eagle Mines. I think that's a really, really good play going forward. Uh, there's very, very good uh, amounts of upside, in my opinion. And if you want to play the whole basket, you could look at the GDX. What are some of the details behind your gold trading strategy? Yeah, if you get into Agnico Eagle Mines, it's, it's pulled back for about seven months. It's into a major, major support level on the chart. The gold miners uh, right now have a very, very good backdrop uh, with all of the economic uh, problems that are going on in the world, all the money printing and stimulus and borrowing that's going on. This is all very, very good for Agnico Eagle Mines. And also another uh, catalyst for the gold miners here is that bond yields are pulling back. Uh, gold mining stocks as well as gold does very, very well when bond yields pull back a bit. We have to talk about the S&P 500. That index continues to rally to new all-time highs this week. What do you think is the catalyst behind the rally? What's moving this index right along? Well, right now, I have to say, I think it's a lot of stimulus. It really is. If you think about the, um, you know, we're, we're probably looking at an infrastructure bill. How much of it goes towards infrastructure? Uh, that remains to be seen. It's not very much. But another spending bill, and that could be upward of uh, $2.2 trillion. We just passed a $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill. Um, there's just a lot of money spinning around, and that's liquidity in the system. Now, I do think there's problems ahead, but for the near term, when you have that kind of money in the system, the markets go higher, and that's what we're looking at at the moment. Thank you, Nick. We always enjoy your trader talk. Thank you for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.